I mean, I think that we have a bunch of guys that are that are that are playing really hard, uh, and I think that's the key to everything. And obviously, uh, Davis Ellis has had a you know has had some explosive plays outside of re- receiver. Caden uh, Fordham uh, on defense and on special teams has been has, has been has been excellent, and, and that those are two juniors that as they continue to grow and grow and get better and better and better, we're we're, we're really excited about it. Um, but then the seniors will still always lead the way. But as a group, we still have a long way to go. And even those players will tell you, like, look, they have a long way to go in terms of people who they want to be come the end of this year. Being tough is falling forward. Being tough is when, as the game goes on, the day get hit and you say, hey, good job, next hit, I'm going to go again, let's go again. That making sure that as this game wears on, we wear on them. That it is easy to be a tough guy when they're not looking and we can hit a blindside hit. That, that's not tough guy. That's not man football. That goals has got to be about man football. It's about our head in the ground, you know what's coming, we're coming off the ball, and we're moving by as we're finishing blocks. Not just one time, not just on fourth and one. Every single step of the game, having that will to dominate and finish blocks inside. Having that will to come off the ball and dominate on every single snap. When I'm tired, if I'm up, if I'm down, regardless of the situation. How tough can you play? There you go, hey, way to run physical. Way to run physical. The last thing you can do is get frustrated about, oh, we should just reset. Look, the plan is to win the game. And if your job on offense is to control the clock, beat on them, wear on them, stay on the field, control the clock, look, we'll hit some of those shots and we'll score more points. But as long as we're continuing to stay on plan, beating them up in the box, falling forward, staying on schedule, eating clock, defense is going to be able to keep points off the board. Now, oh, are we going to need to score and finish the red zone for us to eventually win this game 100%? But no one in this room should be frustrated. I mean, I just think that, you know, offensively and, de- de- and defensively, we're able to remove pressure on other parts of the, of, of the, of the team because of how well uh, we're playing up front. And like, look, we're blessed with very good, uh, you know, Matt Lawrence, Todd Fordham on the offensive line, uh, a group of guys on the defensive line coaching, Travis Bradford, James Pye, Rich Toman. Like, we're blessed with a wealth of talent coaching. But those kids that, that, that play for them are playing extremely hard and they're, and they're learning and getting better quickly. And that, that's something that we're gonna need to lean on as we go throughout the year. But they, they played, I think the biggest thing is, is that their level of acute execution is there, but their effort is super high right now. And that, that's gonna be something that we're gonna, we're gonna rely on.